Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of cosine square x tangent 3x dx. Okay, uh, so you can rewrite this integral as integral of cosine square x. Instead of tangent, I write sinus x divided by cosine x. That's the definition of tangent. Therefore, this will be sine 3x divided by cosine 3x dx. Okay, and then here this cosine is out. That will be equal to integral of sine 3 3x divided by cosine x dx okay because this is power of 2 this is power of 3 so there will be one left here okay so you can rewrite this integral as integral of sine square x times sine x which will be sine 3 divided by cosine x dx okay so this integral now you can solve using the substitution rule so if you define cosine x as u you take the derivative from each side of this equation therefore you can conclude minus sine x dx will be equal to du okay so from trigonometry we know that the sine 2x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x right and since cosine x is equal to u therefore sine 2x is will be equal to 1 minus u2 so all you need to here you need to do here is to substitute this equation this expression into this integral and if you do that that will be equal to in a set of sine 2x that is sine 2x i write 1 minus u2 so that is 1 minus u2 okay and then Instead of sine x dx, you see here sine x dx, I write minus, there is a minus sign here, minus du, okay? Divided by cosine x, and cosine x is u, so I divide by u. So that one will be equal to minus, okay, integral of du divided by u, so I'm basically expanding this expression, 1 divided by u, and there is a minus sign here, so minus comes out, plus, minus times minus is plus, u2 divided by u is u, du and this integral will be equal to minus ln integral of du over u is in ln u plus integral of u is u with the power of 2 divided by 2 plus c which is the constant of the integral so here all you need to do is to substitute this parameter u with the definition of u which is cosine x so that will be equal to minus ln cosine x plus cosine square x divided by 2 plus c which is the constant of the integral and that is the solution to our integral i hope you found this video helpful uh, if you are interested please feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you get updated when i upload new videos thank you